Hey there guys, this is going to be part two of the DIY playground for the shipping container playhouse. In all, I have added three main new features. They are that little wobbly balance beam, some monkey bars, ninja warrior style, and then all the accessories like swings, ropes, things like that. So let me show you how I got to this point and then I'll talk to you about some of the things that I haven't finished that I said I was going to do on the first one, but uh, that should do it. All right guys, just like the first part of this playground build, this second part is going to include a fair bit of welding. And what I am putting together right here is what will serve as the monkey bar component. It will also serve as a stabilizing feature to the main framework of the swing set portion of the playground. And instead of doing two parallel bars, which is probably the more traditional uh, monkey bar setup with the round tubing going in between, I've chosen to put the round tubing protruding from a single beam so that these can be used in kind of a Ninja Warrior type of setup. Um, but uh, you'll see that a little bit later. And here I've just added some yellow and gray paint because I think they look great together. And after all the hard work to create the monkey bars, I needed a way to secure the monkey bars to both the playhouse as well as the main framework of the playground. So my idea was to cut a piece of scrap tubing in half at a diagonal to make some little brackets in which the main beam of the monkey bars would kind of uh, nest into. And here in just a second after I get them all welded together you'll see I will drill a couple of holes so that after the main beam sits in there they will be secured in place with some bolts. And following the installation of the monkey bars, it was now time to add all of the hardware for the swings and the climbing rope. And honestly, there was nothing super complex about this other than just making sure all of the swing hardware was lined up and spaced properly. And then just making sure that I loctited all of the nuts on the top portions of the swing hardware, as well as adding some butyl putty to make sure that no water got into the main tubing of the playground set. Hey, Marley. Can you move the ladder? Hey. What do you think? Ready? Woo! I'm going to climb down it. point you've seen pretty much how I have built just about everything on this playground with the exception of this wobbly balance beam that you see right here and the main reason for that is because when I kind of came up with the concept for it I just started getting some scrap steel together and welding things together and I wasn't sure how it was going to turn out and I really didn't want to waste the time to go get the camera but this is how it turned out uh, actually works a lot better than I anticipated 
um, but basically what you see here at the base is two pieces of three inch by three inch by quarter inch angle iron that some of you may remember I got from an old torn down movie theater. A friend of mine in town had the steel and he generously gave it to me. So that makes up the base. It kind of sits inside or inset, uh, I guess, flush with the dirt. And then this is two inch by three inch uh, pieces of scrap steel tubing. Uh, these are actually cutoffs from the outer frame of my DIY travel trailer project. And then I just welded some chain to the ends of those and then connected those with a little piece of T steel or uh, triang triangular steel to this two inch by four inch piece of steel tubing. And that is pretty much it. Uh, the yellow things on the ends are just four inch PVC pipe with some end caps and I painted them yellow so that they would match uh, everything else on the playground. Uh, and those are just in case someone was to, uh, were to slip and hit their head, they would at least hit something that isn't uh, sharp metal. So now I will show you <laughs> my daughter and I playing on this, and then I'm gonna have my daughter kinda uh, demonstrate the rest of the playground. That was good, really good. That was good. All right, guys, that is pretty much gonna do it for this video. I hope it was interesting. It was certainly a fun build for me, but that's pretty much any build where I just get to be creative and make something out of, in this case, a lot of scrap steel. Uh, I just enjoy that kind of stuff. I do realize this might not be practical for all of you guys, especially you folks in town uh, where you're subject to maybe you know town rules or HOA rules or something like that um, but perhaps something in this can inspire you for maybe some sort of uh, playground set if you happen to have kids or perhaps you have no kids and you want a pull-up bar and maybe you want to use some idea here um, as for what I mentioned uh, not finishing that I mentioned in the first video that didn't even make sense but basically as for the things that I mentioned in the first video that I was going to do that I didn't get done here like the wood chips. Um, the reason I didn't have them done right now is because it's expensive to get wood chips hauled out here and I didn't want to have to do like 10 truckloads or more to town and back. Uh, so it's just going to have to be something that I will do in time. Uh, additionally, I had totally not even considered uh, putting some sort of weed fabric down and it was just going to be a lot of cost that I 
<laughs> right now I was not wanting to to spend so probably what I'll do first off is do a couple of truckloads of wood chips and I will just kind of put them around like the pole the little horizontal bars um, where the monkey bars are just in case my daughter slips uh, she can have something softer you know probably six to ten inches worth of wood chips um, and then I'll eventually get them all around the playhouse to where it'll kind of look nice but as I mentioned, it's just kind of a financial uh, issue. Um, as for other things I'm gonna be doing, um, this is probably not gonna be the last one of this playground. I wanna do some sort of kind of like parallel bars. My daughter's kind of getting into gymnastics. And uh, I want to do another horizontal bar near this one, which you saw me doing the pull-ups off of. Uh, because my daughter wants to do the whole Ninja Warrior, uh, I think they call them laches, where you swing from one bar, let go, and then grab onto the next bar. Um, I did it on those little monkey bars, but it's it's not really as fun because it's just so close together. Uh, so that, and uh, I've also thought of some sort of like seesaw kind of apparatus that I would mount to the top of the main beam up there so that two kids could be holding onto ropes on either side and kind of seesaw uh, by holding onto ropes. I don't know. <laughs> uh, I have all the extra steel to do all that, so that won't really cost any extra, just be when I have time. As for the next project, I am going to be rebuilding my chicken coop. It's gonna be a three or four part series, and those should come out in very quick succession because we have baby chicks, and I already dismantled my old coop yard or coop run, and I desperately need to get it all finished because they're getting big. So as always, I appreciate you guys watching. Give this a thumbs up if you liked it and uh, hit subscribe and I will see you guys on the next one.